Hey guys, this is 182. Welcome back to Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection Whale Zoo. In the last part, I went over the differences and similarities between dolphins, porpoises, and whales. I also forgot something. I forgot to read the in-game description of the bowhead whale. Uh, but I did give the one for the orca. The bowhead whale has a shovel-shaped lower jaw that extends past and cups its narrow snout. It is this gigantic scooping mouth that gives the bowhead whale its name and unique appearance. The bowhead whale gets its scientific name, Balina uh, Mysticetus uh, Mustached Whale. <laughs> Mustache. From its enormous baleen. The largest of all baleen whales. The bowhead whale can grow up to 60 feet long and weigh as much as 100 tons. Its triangular head and characteristic jaw account for over one third of its overall body length. The baleen plates behind the jaw can be 15 feet long and contain 360 plates. The bowhead whale is black in color with a white chin. There is no dorsal fin on its long, round body. Bowhead whales are fairly slow swimmers, averaging about 4 miles per hour. They do not dive very deep and typically only remain below the water surface for 5 to 10 minutes. However, they have been known to remain submerged for up to 40 minutes. When the bowhead whale does surface to breathe, it creates a distinctive V-shaped water spout. Bowhead whales inhabit the frigid water of the Arctic. They migrate northwards in the spring to feed and are forced southward as the ice cover forms in the winter. The bowhead whale has the unique ability to break breathing holes in ice up to one foot thick using its powerful back. Hang on. Okay, so... So, bowhead whales are even stronger than I had stated before. Um, beluga whales are often known to follow bowheads during the winter using the breathing holes left behind by their much larger cousins. When the ice thickens too quickly, bowhead whales can become trapped and may starve or suffocate before they can escape. Bowhead whales, like many other large whales, are filter feeders. They use their giant baleen plates to collect plankton from the water. These whales consume 4,000 pounds, that'd be 2 tons, of plankton each day during the short arctic summer. They feed almost constantly, skimming the surface or creating mud boils as they filter along the bottom in shallow waters. During the long winter, the bowhead whales feeds much less frequently, living mainly off its fat reserves. Bowhead whales have not been well observed by scientists, so very little is known about their social behavior. These whales generally prefer to live alone, but are sometimes seen in small group of groups of up to six animals. They do vocalize, making sounds similar to groans, moans, grunts, and pops. It is not known for certain if these sounds enable the animals to communicate. Young bowhead whales are born about 13 feet long in the spring or summer and remain with their mothers for about a year. The only natural predator of the bowhead whale is the killer whale. But bowheads face a much a far larger threat than the occasional killer whale attack. Ever since their discovery, bowhead whales have been hunted by humans for their baleen, oil, and meat. Once bowhead whales could be found in the tens of thousands throughout the waters surrounding the North Pole, now only 5,000 bowheads remain mostly migrating between the Bering and Siberian seas. Today, bowhead whales are a protected species and can only be hunted by Eskimos and other native Alaskans. Um, let's see, where do I have their conservation status? 
uh, allegedly as of last year they have managed to do some repopulating and are have the conservation status of least concern at the time that I created the spreadsheet which has been like a year okay so now that I'm all caught back up um, let me delete this stuff and let's see what whale do I want next well I think I think since belugas were just mentioned I should get belugas there are no belugas yet I could have Okay, they are a one of the in, they are an endangered species, so I guess it makes sense that I have to research them first. Well then, time for my favorite, the narwhal. Narwhals are just the best, and if you disagree with that, you're wrong. Uh, there is no room for opinion. And I'm only somewhat being facetious. They're like unicorns of death. They are just amazing. Also, um, need more foliage, they want more animals, and rocks. Rocks and foliage. Uh, they like sea lettuce. Sea grass, sea lettuce. So, once I finish giving them all the sea lettuce and rocks they want, Okay, do you want any smaller rocks? They want a lot of rocks. And yeah, suitability 97, good enough. So, narwhals. First, let's see what the game has to say about them. Monodon monoceros means literally single toothed horn. This is an apt description of the narwhal and its distinctive tusk, but the common name narwhal is just as appropriate. In Old Norse, narwhal means corpse whale, probably referring to the pale, almost white color these animals obtain as they age. Although they are born dark in color, by maturity they are grayish blue with white blotches. These blotches increase with age, so that elderly animals are almost entirely white or corpse-like. In the Middle Ages, ages, explorers traveling far to the north hunted a mysterious whale for its long, hollow horn, which they sold in Europe as the horns of unicorn. Today we know that the tusk of the narwhal is not a horn at all, but a tooth. All narwhals are born with two undeveloped teeth in their beaks. Around the end of their first year of life, the left-hand tooth of most males, and about 3% of females, will erupt into a long tusk. Rarely, the second tooth will erupt as well, resulting in a small number of double-tusked animals. 
I feel like they should have specified double tusked narwhals. Because there are a bunch of double tusked animals that are supposed to have two tusks. Like most forms of wild boar. Uh, elephants. They're animals. Anyway, scientists once thought narwhals use their three meter long tusk to hunt for food. Or even to break air holes in the ice. But it's now thought these teeth are used primarily in dominance battles. During the mating season, fierce battles will break out between rival mates who will joust with their tusks to prove dominance. Many adult male narwhals are scarred from these battles, and up to a third of them have broken or damaged tusks. I mean, it makes sense. Imagine your front tooth was pointed straight out and was like, um, a third, uh, let's say, for an average human, it would be a, a two foot long tooth. Would you? How would you use that tooth? I don't think I would... I personally would want to just ram my tooth into things I want to eat. Anyway, like other toothed whales, narwhals have a rounded head with a blowhole and a thick layer of blubber. Narwhals have a smaller beak than other cetaceans and have no dorsal fin at all. Newborn narwhal calves weigh about 80 kilograms and are less than 6 feet long. Great mixing of units there. I, I do applaud the writing. Um, 80 kilograms is not something I know off the top of my head. So give me a moment while I uh, try to figure out try to figure out why uh, something didn't save right like something saved really wrong uh, oh right right kilograms kilograms to pound So, the babies... Yeah, there we go. That's why the narwhals haven't been fed. Nobody's assigned to feed them. You. Feed the narwhals. Uh, 80 kilograms is... Um, 170... Uh, let's round it to 175 pounds. So, our, so, so with 80 kilograms, they're roughly, they're, they're a little, um, I guess you could say shorter than the average human male, and weigh about as uh, weigh about as much as the average human male in the U.S. Actually, no, 175 might be underweight. Either way, the baby's is roughly as big as an adult human male. Narwhal females mature between four and seven years of age. Males take a little longer. Yeah, same thing in humans. Oh, they don't finish maturity by four to seven. They start maturity four to seven, and boys start later. Although, with various stuff that I don't want to get into, I, even the starting at age four is a very recent development. By the time they reach adulthood, they can be up to 16 feet long, not counting the tooth, and can weigh over 3,000 pounds. Its size and thick layer of blubber makes the narwhal well, well adapted to its arctic home. Herds of up to 20 follow the ice flows around the region. 
moving out of an area as it becomes entirely ice covered and returning when the ice breaks up. These herds are frequently made up entirely of same-sex animals. Herds of females and their calves are usually found closer to shore than male herds. Narwhal herds will sometimes come together in groups of up to 1,000 whales. I'm pretty that. 1,000 narwhals in one place. Um, and these would be mixed. Anyway, narwhals are suction feeders. Forming an O shape with their mouths, they suck water into their mouths, and with it, fish, squid, shrimp, and small crustaceans, all of which they swallow whole. Narwhals have also been found with stones in their stomachs. This suggests that they feed along the ocean bottom in the Arctic shallows, sucking up anything that comes into their path. Despite their fears, As I was saying, despite their fierce-looking tusks, narwhals are prey for many larger predators. Killer whales, polar bears, and walruses can all tackle an adult narwhal, and many smaller predators will feed on narwhal calves that have yet to grow a tusk. You might notice that in the animal kingdom, big animals generally aren't um, hunted. But um, the calves are. Uh, also, in addition to in addition to killer whales, polar bears, and walruses, uh, Greenland sharks that would be sharks around the area of Greenland. Uh, also, hunt narwhal. So some, so, so uh, some more facts from my spreadsheet. Uh, they're about twice as fast as a bowhead whale, going at eight miles per hour. Uh, their average lifespan is fifty years. They are, uh, or were. I, I'll need to update conservation status. For the next, when I do my next freeform zoo, I'll have to redo all the conservation status because some have changed. But as of the time of the spreadsheet, uh, they were near threatened, which is bad. Um, they did a good job of saying what they eat. Basically, if it fit in their mouth hole um well, where'd it go if it fits in the mouth hole they eat it and the tusk for whatever reason they didn't mention it so narwhals go from are from 13 to 20 feet long plus an additional up to nine feet. That's half the length of its body. Uh, yeah. Oh, Narwhal gave birth. Babby Narwhal. The Babby Narwhal is white after going through the whole thing about how they start out dark. Yep. So we've now got orcas, we've got bowhead whales, we've got narwhals. And I'm losing money. So... Let's... Ooh! An aquatic restroom. I have the aquatic restroom available. Um, 
and I need a lobby's restaurant. Oh, the swim shack would be good too. Oh, right, I don't have a lobby's restaurant yet. Ugh. Find. Anyway, I don't have a generic restaurant either. That's why I have a rainforest restaurant. Just awkwardly. Um. There we go. That's much better. So, as I've mentioned, this series is going to be educational. It is going to be a very, very slow series. Um. Uh, the episode should be about 30 minutes and fit in two species, but because I messed up last time, I wound up going over and forgetting stuff, so this one's going to be a bit shorter to compensate. Next week, I should be back uh, to where I intended to be. Anyway, uh, if you like the series, please do let me know, like or dislike, and or comment, and or subscribe. Um, but for now, this has been 18.2, and I will see you guys next time.